Hello everyone, today I want to cover another topic in the IGCSE biology syllabus and that is the hormones in the menstrual cycle. First of all, I want to talk about the sites of production. So the pituitary gland produces and secretes two hormones, which is luteinizing hormone and the follicle stimulating hormone. The follicle cells in the ovary produces and secretes the hormone estrogen and the corpus luteum secretes the hormone progesterone. Next, we have the roles of the hormones. So progesterone inhibits production of the follicle stimulating hormone as well as maintains the uterus lining throughout the menstrual cycle to prepare for implantation. The hormone estrogen inhibits the production of follicle-stimulating hormone as well, and it also stimulates the production of luteinizing hormone, and it thickens the uterus lining. The follicle-stimulating hormone stimulates the production of estrogen as well as the maturation of a follicle, obviously, and the luteinizing hormone just stimulates ovulation. So now I want to look at the menstrual cycle itself. From days 1 to 7, if the ovum isn't fertilized, then the corpus luteum will begin breaking down, which means that no more progesterone will be produced and secreted, which means that the uterus lining breaks down because progesterone, as we've talked about before, maintains the uterus lining. And then from days 8 to 13, the production of the follicle stimulating hormone begins, which causes the maturation of a follicle or follicles in the ovary. And then estrogen production will be stimulated due to the high levels of follicle stimulating hormone. And estrogen will thicken the uterus lining as well as inhibiting the production of the follicle stimulating hormone. As you can see, this is an example of negative feedback. So a high level of follicle stimulating hormone will stimulate estrogen and in turn estrogen inhibits the production of follicle stimulating hormone. On day 14, which is typically the day of ovulation, estrogen will stimulate the production of the luteinizing hormone due to the high levels of estrogen, and then the luteinizing hormone will stimulate ovulation, which is basically when the ovum is released from the ovary into the oviduct. The female becomes fertile and remains fertile for the next few days, and the follicle in the ovary becomes a structure called the corpus luteum, or the yellow body. From days 15 to 28, as we've talked about before, progesterone will be secreted by the corpus luteum or the yellow body. So then this hormone maintains the uterus lining in case of implantation. And if the ovum is not fertilized, it will be passed out through the vagina, keeping in mind that this is not menstruation itself. It is simply just the ovum passing through and it will typically not cause bleeding. Also keep in mind that I have used the dates for a very regular menstrual cycle for this. And if in the exam they give you slightly different dates, just remember the key events and the sequence of events in the menstrual cycle. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. And if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments.